Welcome to part 2 of the video series on ethics and professional practice. In this video, we are going to talk about code of ethics as specified by NSPE. What is NSPE? The National Society of Professional Engineers, a not-for-profit organization which represents the interests of all professional engineers of all disciplines in the United States. The components of NSPE code of ethics include Engineer's Creed, Preamble, Canons, Rules of Practice, and Professional Obligations. We're going to talk about all these in this video. You must have heard about the Hippocratic Oath taken by the doctors. It's also known as Primum Non No Care. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. What it means is do no harm. It is also known as Physician's Creed. Do engineers have such a creed? Oh, yes, we do. But what we don't do is take the oath in a formal ceremony like doctors do. Before we talk about the engineer's creed, let's just watch a short clip about the oath, Hippocratic oath taken by the doctors. This is the modern version. I swear to fulfill to the best of my ability and judgment this covenant. I will respect the hard-won scientific gains of those physicians in whose steps I walk, and will gladly share such knowledge as is mine with those who are to follow. I will apply for the benefit of the sick all measures that are required, avoiding those twin traps of over-treatment and therapeutic nihilism. I will remember that there is art to medicine as well as science, and that warmth, sympathy, and understanding may outweigh the surgeon's knife or chemist's drug. I will not be ashamed to say I know not, nor will I fail to call in my colleagues when the skills of another are needed for a patient's recovery. I will respect the privacy of my patients, for their problems are not disclosed to me that the world may know. Most especially must I tread with care in matters of life and death. If it is given to me to save a life, all thanks, but it may also be within my power to take a life. This awesome responsibility must be faced with great humbleness and awareness of my own frailty. Above all, I must not play God. I will remember that I do not treat a fever chart, a cancerous growth, but a sick human being whose illness may affect the person's family and economic stability. My responsibility includes these related problems if I am to care adequately for the sick. I will prevent disease whenever I can, for prevention is preferable to cure. I will remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to all my fellow human beings, those sound of mind and body as well as the infirm. If I do not violate this oath, may I enjoy life and art, respected while I live, and remembered with affection thereafter. May I always act so as to preserve the finest traditions of my calling, and may I long experience the joy of healing those who seek my help. So that's the physician's creed. Oh, in case you're wondering what creed is, creed is a statement of faith. In 1954, NSPE adopted an engineer's creed which is modeled after Hippocratic Oath. And it goes on like this. As a professional engineer, I dedicate my professional knowledge and skill to the advancement and betterment of human welfare. I pledge to give the utmost of performance, to participate in none but honest enterprise, to live and work according to the laws of man and the highest standards of professional conduct. To place service before profit, the honor and standing of the profession before personal advantage, and the public welfare above all other considerations. In humility and with need for divine guidance, I make this pledge. So the key words and phrases in this pledge are utmost performance, none but honest enterprise according to the laws and the highest standards of the professional conduct. Well, this was done in 1954 of man. It's kind of generically used. It's for man and woman. And the honor and standing of the profession before personal advantage and public welfare above all other considerations. Public welfare. You want to keep this in mind, public welfare. It keeps coming back again and again. In this preamble, NSP justifies the creed of ethical conduct for engineers as follows. First, engineering is an important and learned profession. 
Second, engineers are expected to exhibit honesty and integrity. And the services provided by engineers must be honest, impartial, fair, and equitable. And finally, and most importantly, engineers must be dedicated to the protection of public health, public safety, and public welfare. And the key operative word here, public. You don't need to memorize any of this, but if you keep these important words and phrases in your mind, that will be good enough, which is in engineering is an important and learned profession, and honesty and integrity, and it keeps coming back, honest, impartial, fair, and equitable manner, the services must be provided. And above all, public health, safety, and welfare. Actually, if you say public welfare, it captures everything. That is the most important thing for engineering ethics. Canons. What's a canon? <laughs> no, not Conan. This is Conan with an O. No, it's not canon. This is a canon with two ends in the middle. No, it's not canon the camera. Canon is a general law, rule, principle, or criterion by which someone, something is judged. So the canons for engineering ethics are non-statutory, non-mandatory, and fundamental canons of engineering profession are, there are six of them, and they are, engineers must uphold public safety and welfare in highest regard. They should perform services only in the engineer's area of expertise, issue public statements only in an objective and truthful manner, Act for each employer or client as faithful agents or trustees. At all costs, engineers should avoid deceptive acts. And they should act in a manner that enhances the reputation of the profession honorably, responsibly, ethically, and lawfully. And these are the six main canons set forth by NSPE for all engineers. So NSPE Code of Ethics also contains rules of practice. And uh, this is actually a almost two-page document. You can go, uh, go to the website and uh, refer to that. These are, these are based on the six canons we just discussed. And these rules will be covered in the following videos here, but they're not necessarily going to be in the same order. Finally, NSP Code of Ethics gives you a list of professional obligations for all engineers, and these include conduct Conducting with the utmost honesty and integrity, as you can see, some of these things are repetitive. You can actually see the more detailed version of these uh, professional obligations in the NSPE website. We are going to cover some of these in the following videos, mind you. So, st uh, strive to serve the public interest, conduct or uh, avoid all conduct and practice that deceives publics, etc., etc. So, that concludes this particular video and uh, I'll see you in video number three.